We're going to talk about UFC, UFC 249 uh, taking place on May 9th. It's going to be in Jacksonville, Florida at the Vice Star Memorial, uh, Veterans Memorial Arena. And uh, just recently, MMA Junkie published the COVID-19 safety measures that will be in place for this event. And I, I, th I think they're interesting, Peter, just overall, just period, because I think almost everybody is or should be at least somewhat interested in what exactly the UFC is going to do to make sure that this event is safe. So, and I know I was mentioning this to you before we started the show, that there may be some sort of correlation. I'm sure there'll be some similarities for when boxing decides to come back or when boxing comes back as well. Would you think that's accurate? I yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've been speaking to different promoters, been talking to Top Rank and Matchroom and Golden Boy about potentially assisting in shows that they'll be doing in Florida if they end up doing shows in Florida um, where they would use the training camp and, and the condos and uh, a specific venue that we have a, a great relationship with. But one of the big conversation pieces was, okay, so how are you going to do testing? How are you going to do testing both at the training camp and at the venue? Yes. So, you know, I've been sort of educating myself on this and talking to different people. Uh, the commission at first, I don't believe was going to mandate it, mm -hmm. uh, but now I think they are going to mandate it. Yes. And so what I've learned is that there's rapid testing, which mm -hmm. I guess you get results back within, you know, uh, minutes. 15, 15 minutes, maybe, maybe less. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I think that's probably the type of testing that would be done uh, at some point, like I said, I don't, I don't know all the nuances. I'm kind of learning that right now, but I do know that testing is going to be mandatory. Yeah. So like I said, even if the commission doesn't make it mandatory, the promoters are completely in concert where it will be mandatory for them, for both staff, fighters, production, uh, and anyone that would participate uh, in, in these events at all. Okay. So yeah, let's, I'm going to break down, like I said, it's seven bullet points that were published and this is specifically related to UFC 249 and the two events that are going to follow that same week there in Jacksonville. So the first one says the UFC uh, notified fighters that only des designated UFC staff members on card fighters and their licensed quarter men will be allowed on the site. So uh, that's one thing that I'm pretty sure, however you want to transfer that to boxing, I'm, it, I can imagine it being the same way. Uh, the second one is upon arrival at the host hotel, the fighters and their corner men must take part in mandatory medical screenings and a series of tests. This process will be repeated daily as long as the fighters and teams remain at the hotel. Further testing details will be provided in person upon arrival. So that's a pretty ambiguous kind of a uh, testing mm. process right there. So it's open to a lot of different flexibility, more testing, whatever has to happen. I think it's probably smart verbiage because mm -hmm. it, uh, you know, you're preparing people. Hey, just because you tested one time doesn't mean that you won't go through a series or more tests afterwards. So I think it's pretty smart verbiage. The third one says teams will then be informed of the weigh in procedure and given credentials that are required to be worn at all times on the ho hotel premises. I'm assuming this is also something that says, hey, this person has been tested. If you do not have this, this, you know, credentials on. Right. Someone could ass essentially assume have you or have you not been already tested? So this is a variant. I would think that that part of it is more, you know, is more strict than it is normally at uh, these events. <clears throat> uh, the next one says each fighter will be provided with an individual workout room. I think this is really important. Mats, mat sanitizer, and a personal sauna will be provided. So cutting weight right there the day or two days or so before a fight takes place is something that's pretty common, obviously, in, in MMA. I think in combat sports across the board. So that is a place where sanit you know, being uh, sanitary is very important. Places like this is where you get stuff like staph infections and all that. So obviously, if you're getting things like that in that situation, uh, you would obviously have some sort of heightened awareness about COVID-19. Uh, the next one says the host hotel's housekeeping staff will be on the premises taking extra precautions to sanitize rooms and provide 24-7 room service. Next, the UFC Performance Institute will be, will be providing nutritional 
and trifecta culinary support for all of the athletes. Now, this one kind of really made me think about perfecting athletes, which well, whom I know <laughs> is working with right. a lot of boxers. So I was wondering if there would be a way for them maybe to even work with some of the fight uh, promotions. I, I literally had a one hour conversation with them yesterday. Yeah, makes sense. About, about that and how to do it. And we talked about, you know, trifecta and the fighters having their option, um, you know, as to who and how they want to work with. Um, but in the scenario that we created, basically for the, for the boxing at least, would create the, the meals for everybody for staff, production, fighters, um, and would, you know, personalize that. Uh, so, you know, what you do is you just limit the ability for there to be a few things. And, and I hope you don't mind I jump in here. Or did you no, wanna, no. Okay. Only have one, we only have one other one. Well, but, I, but I do want to make sure that we share it because okay. that's part of what, we, what I'm going to do with this video because I want to definitely break this out so if someone wants to kind of just – get, you know, you know, get informed about. So share, give the seventh point and then we can kind of touch on the food issue. The last one is performance related matters. It's in quotations defined as injury or illness can be treated by the on-site medical staff, but massages and flushes will not be. So that's the last one. Hmm. Okay. I mean, look, it seems like they put a lot of thought into it. I mean, it's, it's not, it, maybe it's perfect. Maybe it's not perfect. Uh, I definitely think they've put a lot of thought into how to create a safe environment. So, I mean, it's better than just saying you're going to get tested one time when you show up. I mean, it seems like they're going to do ongoing testing and they're going to try to mitigate uh, as much potential opportunity for people to come in contact with the outside world and, and potentially, uh, you know, get sick. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I'm obviously I'm not a doctor. I'm not a scientist. Um, you know, I'm not, uh, you know, in that field at all, but I do feel better, um, about the event overall based off of the things that I've read here, uh, which obviously come directly from the UFC and from also from the state of Florida in terms of, you know, breaking out and setting up something that will make this as safe as possible, uh, which is, I think right. should be the number one priority for everybody involved here. So, uh, I, I don't know, you, you would be able to answer this question much better than me. It sounds to me that almost all of this is transferable to boxing. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. So, which is, I think a good sign for more things taking place. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, just uh, all of it. I mean, I mean, it's it just it makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, every promoter might want to do it in a different way or have a setup in a different way. Mm -hmm. But I think overall, um, you know, all those procedures put in place is just going to create a safer environment for everybody. I agree. I agree. It's good news. It's good news. It's unfortunate that we have to, these precautions have to be in place, but you make the best of the situation as it is. And I think that this is definitely moving in that direction.